Hey, we have a really great shoe for you tonight. Bailey's in it. Sorry about that. We'll save that for the awards ceremony, all the impressions. Um, on behalf of the New Brunswick Filmmakers Co-op, its board of directors, uh, members, and staff, we'd like to welcome you to the Silver Film Festival, New Brunswick Shorts 4. So this is pretty exciting. Four screenings of shorts, and this is the first time we've done this many. Um, this festival would not be possible without the support of the many sponsors that we have, including the province of New Brunswick, the city of Fredericton, the Postman, La Centre Communitaire Saint-Anne, CBC Television and Radio, Telefilm Canada, Accessible Media Inc., Crown Plaza, Fredericton Lower Beaverbrook, Canada Council for the Arts, and the UMB Faculty of Arts. So thank you very much to those sponsors for making this festival possible. I'd also like to thank the many sponsors supporters, and especially the volunteers that make the festival possible each year. So thanks to those people. Tonight's screening, MB Shorts 4, is brought to you by CBC. So at this time, I would invite Peter Hall to come up to say a few words to you on behalf of CBC. fast, so I'll be fast. Uh, this week CBC uh, celebrated its 75th anniversary. I wanted to thank you, but no, I wasn't there the whole time. <laughs> so, um, it, what a great way to celebrate that birthday by being here. We, we absolutely love coming to Silver Wave. It's um, refreshing and uh, completely energizing to come and see all the great films, but also to talk to the filmmakers. Um, you know, there's a really uh, close-knit bunch of talented people here, and it's infectious. It, 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 it sticks with us for, um, for months after we leave, and I gotta tell you, people start calling us months before we get here to talk about their projects. So that's great. Uh, and, and the fans, too, that, you know, without this, uh, without this great crowd, we couldn't, we couldn't uh, mount this. So I, I want to extend a great thanks to, to Tony and Kathy, to the part of the co Festival, you know, they're out there taking tickets and being nice to us, and, and it all couldn't happen without them. So, thanks for coming, and uh, congratulations on, a, uh, on an 11th uh, great ceremony. Thank you very much, Peter. Okay, now um, I would like the filmmakers for tonight's films to come up to say a few words about their projects. So, come on down, the red carpet awaits. <laughs> Thank you. I thought if I was first on stage, I'd be able to move to the end of the line, but it didn't work out that way. Um, thank you all for, for coming out tonight. I'm really excited for this uh, screening. Uh, my name is Arthur Thompson, and the film I'm showing tonight is Hold Fast, and it's the first film I've directed. I've been involved in about four other films prior to that, so it's pretty exciting to be on this side of the stage. Um, my natural inclination is to thank a lot of people because, as many of you know, this is a very collaborative medium and my film wouldn't be anything without all the other people that worked on it. But I know if I start naming names, <laughs> I'm going to get in trouble. There's one name I'll mention, it's my wife Ivy, <laughs> and my two daughters, Lydia and Sophia, all their patients. Um, but I'd also like to thank uh, the wonderful cast that I had on it, I couldn't have asked for a better group of folks and, and a great crew. And uh, this film was also a recipient of the Short Film Venture Program, so I'd like to thank the province of New Brunswick for their contribution. Of course, Tony and Kathy at the Film Co-op. And uh, last but not least, I'd like to thank my parents who came up for the screening. <laughs> and uh, all the friends and I know there's co workers right there, so thank you all for coming. I hope you enjoy the film. Hello, my name is Danny Thibault. Um, I um, wrote, uh, co-produced, and co-directed Deliverance, uh, a bilingual film made um, with the uh, help of CBC and NB Film. And um, uh, I, if, if you uh, were here last year, you probably saw the first 15 minutes of this film, which we uh, didn't want to 
show that again. So we've summarized those 15 minutes and we're showing you the, the second part that was done uh, with the help of CBC. And uh, we had um, an amazing experience making this film. Um, I, I, I couldn't even begin to uh, name all of the cast because there were so many. <laughs> we had a huge cast, uh, we have a wonderful crew. Um, I'll let Donovan go through that, if you can remember the names. <laughs> I hope you enjoy it. Uh, hi, I'm Donovan Richard. So again, yes, for the Deliverance uh, tonight. So the first person I would like to thank is Danny Thibault. Because, oh yeah, and we oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But uh, no, so we had a great time, and uh, thanks to CBC last year, we had the Delivrance shown here, and then afterwards the ball got rolling, and we were able to make this into a 40-some minute film, and, but we're not showing 40-some minute tonight there, because it's pretty long. Uh, but it's still going to be a nice long film to show anyway. Uh, but we'd like to thank everybody uh, that, was, uh, that came and to, to, to help us and support us. Everybody that worked on the film, all the cast and crew, we have some of the crew with us, Brittany, first ED, extraordinaire. And uh, I'd like to thank uh, all the friends, which we have numerous friends that helped us, not only on, on the, the, the set itself, but also like supporting us afterwards, uh, like my girlfriend, Tammy, hi. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, our family as well, you know, there's always somebody there that's helping us all the time and we'll keep on going. Thank you. <laughs> Brittany Sparrow and my film is called Gamers A Love Story. Um, this was the most incredible shoot I've ever been on. Um, I was a bit of a slave driver and I kept my cast and crew on set in the rain. We drove to Moncton and then we drove back to Fredericton. We were on set for something like 19 hours and the next day we showed up on set and my lead actor was making everybody waffles. So it was pretty amazing these people. Um, I want a special thanks to Phil Angers, my DP, who crawled inside my head and lived with me there for a while. It was pretty intense. Um, I also want to thank Karina Walby, who pretty much saved my life when everything went, everything went completely nuts, and she pretty much rescued me. Um, I also want to thank the Rainbow Laundromat and James Joyce Pub for letting me shoot there, and uh, also the Ramards, Donovan, and Paul Angers uh, for letting me shoot in their houses. And also, um, always thanks Kat and Tony for everything they do for us. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, I want to thank my parents who are here again for the third year all the way from BC. It means so much to third year. my boyfriend Rob Gemmel who is the most supportive person that I could ever ask for and I love you. Hi, I'm Joel Thompson. I directed Omaha Flyby. Yeah. Some people in here that know what an Omaha Flyby is, you can tell me because I, I don't know what it is. <laughs> Um, yeah, it was uh, it was an awesome shoot. Um, it was actually it was the recipient last year of the CBC 321 award. So I, I obviously have to give a huge thanks to CBC. Um, I think that the CBC 321 award is just such an awesome boost to the New Brunswick film industry and for everyone here to just get an opportunity to you know work with with a budget and it's just been such a great opportunity for me. Um, I hope you enjoy the film and it's so good to see so many people. Thanks for coming and that's it.